All right, good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to our Kingdom Life uh, worship experience this morning with Pastor Curtis and Sophia good Perryman. Morning, thank y'all so much for tuning in today. We appreciate every one of you. Listen, do me a favor. Make sure you share, you like, you tag, you invite. Yes. Start a watch party. Get other people to come on and be a part of our Sunday morning worship experience today. Hey, we believe God's going to change lives. We believe that people are going to be encouraged, motivated. But most of all, we believe people are going to be uplifted and saved today. That's right. So, again, let's just share, like, tag, invite, start a watch party, get other people to come on this morning and be a part of our Kingdom Life worship experience this morning. So let's just worship God together this morning, and then we're going to get into it and have a great time in the Lord this morning. Yes. So let's share, like, tag, invite. Start a watch party this morning. Get other yes. people to come on and be a part this morning. <laughs> Good morning, Minister Kim. Good to see you this morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, shout out to my cousin Robert Perryman who's on this morning. Good to see you, ma'am. Yes, Thank you so morning. much for being on. Shout out to Miss Jackie Lavelle. Good morning, Jackie, Jackie. Hayes is on this morning. Shout out to you today. Yes. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. So again, y'all share, like, tag, invite. Start a watch party. Get other people to come on and be a part of our Kingdom Life Bible. I mean, Kingdom Life Worship this morning. Listen, Good morning, if you can man. invite at least five people this morning, man, yes. we're going to have a great time in the Lord. That's so right. So invite about five people today, and let's have a great time in the Lord, all right? And once you invite them, um, type share. Yeah, make sure you share today. Yes, type share. Good morning, Sister Geraldine. Good morning. Good morning. Miss LaShan Jackson is on this morning. Sister Geraldine is rocking with us this morning. Jacqueline. Hey, share, share, share. Good like, morning. like, like, tag, tag, tag. Miss Jackie Nelson is on this morning. Yes, hello, hello. Good morning. Morgan City is on. Shout out to you this morning. So y'all get y'all share, like, tag, invite. Y'all start a watch party today. And once you do it, make sure again you guys say share or done. <laughs> and we can get it we can get y'all at least invite at least five other people to come on this morning. It's yes. gonna be a great time in the morning. So y'all share, like tag, invite. Let's start a watch party, get other people this morning to come on. We want to touch as many people as we can for the cause of Christ. That's right. Hey, we want to win as many people as we can for the cause of Christ. But most of all, we want to see souls saved today. So y'all share, like tag, invite. Start a watch party this morning. Get other people to come on this morning. We appreciate y'all so very much for yes. everything that you do. Yes, we do. Good morning, Robert Perriman. That's my cousin. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this All morning. All right. Listen, we get Hello, ready to uh, get some announcements in this morning. Shout yes. out to Mr. Ramona Johnson Hello. who's on this morning. Shout out to you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in uh, today. But listen, we get ready to get some announcements and we're going to get into it today. Have a great time in the Lord. That's right. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Of course, you know, today is Sunday, April the 19th. Overseer and I would like to take time out just to say thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah. We have planned an amazing worship service for you. So take time out. And again, like he said, go ahead, invite your family and friends. We're on Facebook this morning. We're on Instagram. And we are on Periscope. Yeah. So take the moment to like, to invite, to tag, and to start a watch party, you guys. We're asking each one to invite at least five people this morning, okay? Yeah. So let us also know what city or state you are Joining us from, okay? <laughs> That's good. Yes. Also, um, join Overseer Pyramid every Tuesday night for our Kingdom Life Faith Center Bible Study live on Facebook and again on Instagram at 7.30 p.m. Let's keep the momentum going, you guys. Our attendance has really been growing, and we are actually seeing people coming in from all different states and countries like Belize. Yeah, yeah. So we want to thank everyone for um, participating and being a part of the Kingdom Life Faith Center community, and we really appreciate you guys. Also, join Overseer and I. Well, actually, join Overseer every Monday and through Friday on Facebook for In the Backyard. And that's at 8.15 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram. And let me tell you, he has definitely been doing an amazing job. He's been encouraging people, and he's been in building up um, people's faith. So we want to we wanna just join him every Monday through Friday at 8.15 a.m. in the backyard. And then also, uh, we have our prayer conference call 
on Monday through Friday at 6.30 a.m. And that's on Monday through Friday. And we intercede for our church and for others. So um, the phone number is 302-202-1117. And our access code is 534 283 and I'll also type that information in at the bottom for you and then overseer and I would like to also thank the first responders the yeah. doctors the nurses yeah. and all those who are on the front line serving we yeah. want to say that we are truly praying for you and we appreciate you guys for your for your service and then also if anyone need prayer you can also go to our website at www.kingdomlifefaithcenter.org and you can also email overseer at overseerperryman <laughs> at kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. So you guys, it's now back to our <laughs> overseer. <laughs> thank you guys for joining. I thank you for sharing. I see some people are sharing. So we, we appreciate you guys sharing with us this morning. Yeah, shout out to our Periscope audience. Yes, hey, shout out to hello. our Instagram audience who's on this morning. We love you guys. Hey, shout out to our uh, Facebook Live audience. Hey, my daughter Ashley Perryman is hello, rocking with her today. Ashley, with us today. Daughter. Love you. Love you and we my grandson, sweetheart. Good to see you. Miss Valerie Hankins is on. Yes. Miss Bam is on. Miss Eddie Collins is with us today. My shout friend out to Jessica is on. Jessica is on. Yes, All right. Jessica. Shout out Jessica, we love you. I miss you, I but love listen, you. But listen, listen, we got to pause for a second. Okay, okay, okay. Kay. Richard Jernigan is on. No way. So we have we have to give... We have Not to the give, deacon. De we have to give Richard Not Jernigan... Not the deacon. ...praise this morning. <laughs> listen, Richard we Jernigan... We miss you so much, Deacon Jernigan. Richard, Richard Jernigan is the dapper dad of deacons. <laughs> oh, he's a, he is a sharp-dressing man. He's the dapper dad you. of deacons. Can't nobody we outdress deacon you. Richard Jernigan. We love you. We miss you guys so much. <laughs> Shout out to the Halls who are rocking with us yes, this morning, too. Yes, Brenda and Billy Hall and yeah, Sister. You know. Guess who's on? Sister Ruth is on. Uh, Sister Ruth, I got to come by your oh, house and see what man you. is over there. I'm trying to see if there's some so man over much. there. I don't tell her what you're doing, Sister yes, Ruth. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Miss Hattie Williams is on this morning, too. Good to see you guys. Valerie Hankins is on. Valerie is on this Hi, morning. Valerie. Good to see you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We, we appreciate every one of y'all. So again, y'all share, like, tag, invite. Start a watch party. Show get other people some, that come on this morning. Love. Get more people to come on today. Yes. Listen, we're going to be about a good 30, 40 minutes in teaching this word, and we're going to let you go today. That's right. But listen, I need y'all to share, like, tag, invite, start a watch party, get other people to come on and be yes. a part. Listen, our Instagram audience, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Yes, we do. Uh, we thank y'all so much for being on today. Some of you, we can't see you uh, on Instagram because right. the camera's a little bit further away. Yes. But no, we're going to come back on and give you glory and give 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 God glory and honor for you being on yes, today. Yes, we are. Yes, All right, so everybody, get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your yes. Bibles today. And um, and let's get ready to get the word today. Let's get ready to get the word Yes. Um, I hope we didn't miss anybody's birthday today. I hope so too. I hope we didn't miss anybody's birthday today. If we did, hey, Let happy us know. birthday to you. Yes. We appreciate you for all that you do. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. Miss Tracy Anderson is with us this morning. Hello, Tracy. So, again, yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's okay. jo Joyce oh, Robinson wow. is on. Miss Joyce is my Hello. cousin. Shout out to Miss Joyce who's rocking with us today. Yes. Good to see you. Good to thank see you. Thank you so much for being on uh, this morning. Uh, Tiffany, leave Brother Richard alone. Leave Brother Richard alone. Leave Brother Richard alone. All right, Brother Richard. Brother Richard, make a good husband for you. Yes, 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 yes. Let me get to it. Oh, morning. she's gonna get you this morning. Oh, Let Tiffany. me get to it. Oh, she. Oh, she. she she's fussing now. Let me get to it this morning. <laughs> Mr. Shawana Sumter, Sumter is on as well as this morning. All right, yes. let's get ready to get to word. We're going to pray okay. this morning, then we're going to get to word, right? Father, right. in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for the grace and the mercy, God, that you have released in our lives. We thank you for the love and the kindness that you have shown us. Yes. But Jesus, we thank you most of all for your death on the cross. The word of God said, without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sins. And so we just thank you today for all that you have done for us. Thank and we you. thank you for cleansing us from all unrighteousness today and we thank you for it now father anoint our eyes to see in the spirit yes. anoint our ears to hear in the spirit god that we may see and hear wisdom and revelational knowledge let it flow freely unhindered and unchecked by any satanic god demonic force and lord we give we be so careful to give you praise and glory and honor in jesus name, in jesus name. Amen, amen. And amen amen all right get your bibles going to the book of mark 
uh, chapter number 11. Shout out to the Haywards who are on this Hello. morning. Shout out to them. Miss Denise Scales is on today. <gasps> Miss Denise Scales, you know that was Rachel. Rachel says, we got to come oh, over to your house when this coronavirus is over. Over, yes. and, 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 and just spend the night in your house. Oh, <laughs> your I know. House. Jessica. No, Jennifer Smith. <laughs> Jennifer, no, shout out to Jennifer. Oh. <laughs> Let's get to oh, it <laughs> today. Mark chapter number 11, and looking at verse number 12. And um, verse number 12 says, And on the morrow when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came if happily he might find anything that were on. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was, was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples Heard it. Now let's skip down to verse number 19. Verse number 19. Uh, Miss Sheila Roby is with us this morning. Verse 19 says, And when even was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning, as he passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Verse 21, And Peter calling to remember, says unto him, Master, behold the fig tree, which thou cursest withered away. And Jesus answered and saith unto them, Have faith in God. Verse 23, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you what things whoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive. And if you have all against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Verse 26 and final says, but if you do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. We ask God to add a blessing to the reason, to the hearers of his word this morning. Now, as you all know, we've been in this teaching series where we've really been talking about faith in God. Uh, in light of everything that's taking place, yes. um, the coronavirus, many people are dying and things like that. And you see the country uh, is in a state of flux, state of fear. Yes. Uh, we're looking at people who, who applied for the small business loans right. and now they're being told that they can't get it. They're not, uh, especially, not available. Especially mm -hmm. for those who have the mom and pop stores. Yes. They can't get it, especially those who have mom and pop stores in the African American community. Right. They can't get the they money get now. It. Uh, churches were supposed to be a part of a small business loan, yes. uh, the, the SBAs, and now they can't get it. Right. And so people are in a state of flux. They're looking oh, to yeah. the government for help, and the government is saying, we're helping you as far as we can go. Right. Um, people are expecting to get the $1,200 checks, and then we, we saw on the news this morning that on, on, on CNN that nothing has been sent out. Right. So people are in a state of flux. They're wondering, when is this money going to come to me? We need it. New York is saying, we need the government to step up. We need you to step up and we need these ventilators we need them now because oh, we're yes. losing people left and right we need your support right and we're hearing from the white house where it's the governor's fault they said they gotta reprint the checks yeah they gotta put his name his yeah. on it. and so now you're saying <laughs> the government the governor's saying well no it's the white house fault so nobody nobody knows what to do people are in a right. state of flux so in order for you and I to come out of this state of flux, what we must do is have faith in God. We have to. got to have faith we in God. We have to have faith in God. Now, when you look at verse 22, verse 22 says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. Yes. Now, they were baffled, they were bewildered, that Jesus cursed the fig tree, and the fig tree died. That's that, right. that was a shocker to them that this happened. And Peter says, Master, look, the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. Withered and, away. and Jesus says, Now, this is how this works. Have faith. Faith in God. Yes. Let me tell you how you come out of this situation. Let me tell you how you overcome this situation. Let me tell you how you come through health crisis, how yes. you come through health scares, health challenges. You come through it by having faith in God. That's right. You cannot allow your faith to waver in this season. You cannot allow your faith your faith to, to, to be put on a back burner at this moment. That's you right. have to release your faith like never before. Yes. you got to trust God like you've never trusted him before. You have to believe him like you've never believed him before right. because nobody Nobody else has your answer. Nobody else can deliver Nobody. you. Nobody else can <laughs> set you free. But he is the only one that can turn it around for you. Okay. So you got to have faith in God. So now we started to find faith before. We said faith now is the key ingredient to all existence. Now, defining faith now being the key ingredient to all existence, I define it based on Hebrews 11 and 3. Right. When you look at Hebrews 11 and 3, Hebrews 11 and 3 says... Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So watch now. So faith is the key ingredient to all existence. Nothing exists 
without faith. Right. Nothing you can see, touch, taste, smell, nothing you can see in the natural, nothing that's in the supernatural, right. nothing in the spirit realm exists apart from faith. Right. When God created the world, he created the world by faith. by faith. He created it by faith. He didn't use a hammer and nail. He didn't get on the ground and do all of this and draw out this. <laughs> he used his faith. Yes. Well, how did he use his faith? He used his faith by opening up his mouth and declaring and decreeing what he wants to see. Yes. See, yes. in this season that we're in, we have to declare and decree what it is we want to see. Right. If you want to be free from this, you have to declare and decree that I'm free from this. That's releasing your faith. If you, you want to be healed, you got to declare and decree that you're going to be healed this morning. Yeah, you have to declare that. Yes. You have to decree that. You have to open up your mouth. This is why the Bible said, thou shalt decree a thing and, and it shall be established. established. So I have to open up my mouth. Yes. This is how you release your faith. That's you right. release your faith by the words that come out of your mouth. Yes. What are you saying what in this situation? Situation. What what are you saying yes. in this pandemic situation in this crisis moment? What are you saying? Right. Remember, the Bible said that death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yes. And the Bible says you and I are going to eat the fruit thereof. Yeah. So if, if if death and life is in the power of my tongue and I'm gonna eat the fruit thereof, then I might as well prepare the best meal then that I'm gonna right. eat. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna speak negative. I'm not gonna talk about the situation. Right. I'm not gonna speak negatively about my situation. But what I am going to declare that I'm free from this issue. Oh yes, because you have That money is what coming. You, you have what you say. You money is coming to me. We never be broke another day in our life. You have right. to declare those things over your life. Yes. You can't look at this situation Ooh. as an opportunity to be defeated. That's right. That's right. right. You, you, got, you, you got, will have what you say. If you speak death, you're going to have death. Yeah. If you speak life, you're going to have life. Yeah. God spoke to me this morning um, when I was get, when, I, when I got up this morning and he spoke to me. Tell the people to dream again. Woo! That's a good one. Tell the people to dream again. Tell the people to dream Listen again. Listen to this. Wow. In this season, you have to dream again. Yes. Tell, me, tell the people to That's dream good. again. Amen. You have to dream again. Let oh, me yes. say it to you one more time. You have to dream again. Yes. You cannot let this situation be a tombstone for you. Ooh, that's good. That's a tombstone good. means this is a place where my dream died. You, you can't wow. let it be a tombstone to you. Right. You, you, got, you, got to, you. You can't have a memorial service in this situation. This is the time that you have to celebrate life. Oh, you have yes. to give God glory. You cannot allow your dream to die. Oh, you, no. This cannot be a tombstone situation from you. Ooh, for you. It good. cannot be that. You have to dream again. Yes. If you have taken your dream and put it on the back burner, right. you put it on the shelf, it's time for you to take it off the shelf, it's time for you to dust it off, and it's time for you to dream again. Yes. Get your business plan back and dream again. Go back to school. Go back to school. Whatever you got to do, right dream book. again. Yes. You got to dream, dream again. You again. cannot allow your dream to die. That's right. This cannot be a tombstone situation for Ooh, you where it becomes a, a, a marker where you say, this is where my dream died. This is where it all went Ooh. bad at. This is where this is. You have to look at this situation as an opportunity for you to go to your next. That's right. All right. Watch That's now. I gotta right. You got this. plenty of time. You got plenty of time. You can do it. She you can now. do it. Kentucky Fried Chicken came along during a time when men went off to war in World War II. Okay. And the women were at home. Right. Right. You got to remember now, in this day and age, in that day and age, People were used to home cook meals. Oh yes. When men went off to oh, war, yes. they were in that kitchen. That means that women had to go to work. Right. During that time, women were not doing manual labor. They were at home. They were home. They were they were people, women who stayed at home and took care of the house, took care That's of the right. children. That's right. But when World War II broke out, mm -hmm. men went off to war and women had to go to work they in had factories. To go to work, yeah. So watch now. That meant now that the children were home. Right. So that meant now the women could not be at home to prepare a home cooked meal. Because they were at work. So Colonel Sanders <laughs> looks at this situation and says, I see an opportunity right. to be successful. <laughs> so guess what he does? He sees an opportunity to Ooh. meet a need that would eventually make him successful and make him wealthy. Yes. So guess what he does? He knows that America is used to home cooked meals. Oh, yes. So he, he he creates Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky now, fried chicken. Whether, whether he stole his recipe from African Americans, oh. We don't know. We heard the story. But here's the thing. Here's what it is. He looked at a situation and he said, this is how you meet the need. Right. So he starts Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you notice, it's some home-cooked meal. Oh, yes. And so now okay. he presents it to the table. So here's what he doesn't do. 
He doesn't allow his dream to die because the world was at war. Right, that's so true. Because the world was going through something, he Ooh. didn't let his dream die. That's so right. guess what he did? He found a way to meet a need in yes. this crisis moment. There are yes. many of you right now, you got to dust your dream off. You got Ooh. to dream again. Dream again. You yeah. have the mentality and the creativity on the inside of you that's to right. do something in this season that will take your life to another level. That's right. Do not ever think that God's not going to use you in this season. God gave you a plan and a purpose. He gave it life. to you. So you might as well dream again. That's right. Get yeah, dust your dream off. <laughs> That's good. So 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 we, we we're talking about hope now, and we okay. define what hope is. We said hope now is the confident, earnest expectation that what you're believing God for will come to pass. Yes. It, it's, it means to eagerly await the manifestation of something with joy. Yes. Okay. So so watch now. When I'm hoping in God. I'm not. I'm not operating in a negative hope. Negative yeah. hope is I'm a hoping and a praying. That's fifty percent chance hoping it may. Believing. Yeah, it's a fifty percent <laughs> chance that it may come to pass, and a fifty percent chance that it may not right. come to pass. So that's a hoping and a praying. That's negativity. <laughs> but when it's real hope, real hope says, I know beyond a shadow of doubt that God is doing it for me. Oh yeah. But what's now? So, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be in expectation. For the manifestation of what I'm hoping for, yes. I'm going to be in expectation with joy. So watch now. When I'm praying now, I already know that God has heard me. Oh, Listen yes. to this, people oh, of God. Yes. You have to understand this. you got to know this. When you pray according to the will of God, yes. the Bible says he hears us. He hears us. Yes, he does. The scripture says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. Right. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. He hear so what's now? It's not based on how I feel. It's not about goosebumps. If I'm praying the will of God, he says he hears That's me. That's right. That's right. And guess what he does? He dispatches the answer to you. Yes. Now, now for some of us, the answer may not show up overnight. Right. May right. not show up overnight. Right. That, that doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It might take some time. It takes some time. Yes. Some, sometimes God is maneuvering pieces, putting them in their proper place right. in order for them to bump into you at the right time. Yeah, remember so, you say you can do it in stages. He can do it in stages. So you have you you gotta you gotta get this. This is so important now. Yes. Because see, when you know beyond a shadow of doubt that God heard you, oh, yes. man, there's an expectation <laughs> that you have, there's a joy that you have oh, yes. that is unbelievable. Ooh. Yes, it's yes, amazing yes. that you have this joy. It's like some peace come over, the, oh, over you. Oh, yes. Oh, and you know yes. beyond the shadow of the God that God is doing God it for you. God will do it for I, you. I, I never forget. Uh, I remember telling uh, my daughter I was going to take her somewhere. She was, was a little girl. I remember telling Treasure I'm going to take her somewhere. Yes. Um, I want to say maybe to the park or something. Okay. I said, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you to the park this Saturday. And, and, and she's just getting ready all week long. You're getting ready all week long to go to the park. <laughs> And every day I'm like, look, today ain't Saturday. Yeah, she's getting ready all week long. You said you're going to take me to the park. You said you're going to take me to the park. But she's getting ready for the park. When it comes down, when right. it comes down to that Saturday morning, she says, okay, I'm ready to go to the park. Well, I don't want to go now. I, we're not, we're not going to go to the park. Now I'm saying that to be messing around. She right. says, no, you promised me. You promise. promised me. You're going to take me to the park. You promised me. Right. You promised me. So you got to take me to the park. You said it. <laughs> You said, so she's on me. But here's the thing. But she is, she was waiting with anticipation yes. all week long yes. because I said it's going to take place on this day. Right. So she's getting prepared all week long. Yes. You have to, see, hope causes you to prepare That's for right. the manifestation of what God promised you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wonder how many of you today are preparing Prepare. for your breakthrough. I wonder how many of you today are preparing for the manifestation of your answered prayer. Yes. I wonder how many today. So you got to get your hope. Hope up. That's You've right. got a hope like never before. Yes. Your hope is not in man, it's not in the government, but it is in God. It's in God. Keep your hope in God. That's right. Now, let's hurry up. Let's continue on now. Pick up from what we left off uh last week. How my tablet is starting to act up. But nevertheless, the word will go forth. Thank, thank God that I got good memory. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, we left off last week kind of talking about right here. When God releases his promises to us, he gives us his hope that will anchor our souls in trying time. All right. When God gives you a promise, he also releases his hope that anchors your soul. Okay? That's good. Okay. All right. We, we brought out last time and we talked about an, uh, the purpose of an anchor. Well, my shirt is jacked up on me. We talked about the purpose of an anchor. 
the anchor's responsibility is to hold you in place so that currents won't take you away. Okay. All right. And we said, depending on the size of your boat will determine the size of your anchor. All right. Let's, let's take it in, in, in your terms. Depending on the size of your vision, depending on the size of the promises that God made you, will determine the size of the anchor that you will have. Right. The anchor is designed now to hold you in place, to keep you from drifting away. It's important now for you to get this now because anybody who, who whoever goes out on a boat fishing, they know that if they don't drop anchor, they can be out there fishing and drifting away with the currents and not know it. Right. That is so and not know it. The currents can carry them away and they don't know it. Yes. So watch this now. So the Bible says to us that God doesn't want us carried about or carried away with every wind and doctrine or, or every wind of doctrine. He doesn't want you and I to be blown off course or taken off course. So here's what he does. He releases his hope to us yes. and his hope comes along and it holds us in place. This is why when God gives a promise to you, the hope is he always sends somebody around to encourage you. That is so true. When difficult times hit you. That when it just so seems like your vision is not going to come to pass. Oh, yes. He sends somebody to hold you in place. He sends oh, yes. somebody to give you something encouraging. Right. He sends somebody to tell you, don't worry about what they said. Yes. If you're a person on here and you went for a house and, and they kept turning you down, the yes. kept turning you down, you couldn't find your house. May I tell you today that during that time, God always sent somebody always. around always. to encourage you right. and so you could be held in place so that you wouldn't give up on the promises of God. Oh, yes. That's what hope does. Hope keeps you in place yes. where you will not give up on what God's That's promised right. you. So Listen true. to this. If you give up on the promises of God, it is because you have no hope in God. And you have no faith. You have no faith. You have no hope in God. If you are allowing yourself to be carried about and tossed to and fro, it is because you have not dropped your anchor. You haven't dropped hope as an anchor today right. to hold you in place. Right. This is why people can go so long in. I'm not going to smoke. I'm not going to smoke. I'm not going to smoke no cigarettes. I'm not going to roll one. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to drink one. I'm not going to go out and have... And they give in. Yeah, I'm not going to have illicit affairs. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do any of that. Right. And then before you know it, because they didn't drop anchor, Right. they find themselves in that situation. Right. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, now they're back drinking again. They're back smoking again. They're back having illicit affairs. And then as, and what the devil does, the devil comes along, and now he starts to accuse them. He starts to bring guilt and condemnation guilt on and them. Condemnation, so yeah. now here they are, wrapped up in this coat of yes. guilt and condemnation. They're depressed. They're frustrated. And, and, and then all of a sudden, they think that God don't forgive them. God right. don't love them. He don't care about them. It's because now you never dropped anchor. Woo. You were trying to hold out without holding on to God. Right. Let me say it to you again. Your source. You, you were trying to <laughs> hold out without holding on to God. Right. See, you can hold out all you want to. But if you're not holding on to God, yes. then guess what you're going to do? You're going to fall back in the sin That's every right. single time. That's right. If you don't drop anchor, if you don't Ooh. drop anchor in God and yes. hold on to him, on to you him. are going to fall into sin every time. You're right. going to give up on every promise that he made you. You're going to give up every single time because you have not dropped anchor in him. Right. Now, let's hurry up now. Let's finish with this lesson now. Now, Hope now will become a rescue line to those who support God's kingdom purpose. Hope will become a rescue line to those who support God's kingdom purpose. Now, when you look at Joshua chapter number 2 and you start looking at verse 15 through 21, you see now that Joshua now has sent spies into Jericho. They are in there despite the land because God had promised them Jericho. Right. They're going in there, checking it out, see whether, see if, if the how, how the defenses are, if they're strong and weak. They're trying to figure out all this stuff. Rahab the harlot knows who they are. Yeah, he knows. She knows. She knows who they are. And so here's what Rahab does. Rahab says, we know who you are. <laughs> we know what you're here for. Yes. Okay. You got everybody in this in this town scared. Everybody in this city is scared, scared of you. Everybody. We heard what God did through you right. to the other king, King Og and all that we know. We know. And so, so she says, but here's what I'm going to do. If I hide you and the spies who are with you, would you promise not to destroy me in my house. Yes. So they make they make a covenant with her. They 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 get they make oath with her, right. and they says, okay, if you hide us and you keep this secret, yes, we will protect you. Right. And they said, now if you do not keep your promise, you will get destroyed like everybody else in this city. And so here's what they says. Here's 
Here's what we need you to do in order to let everybody know that your house is off limits. Mm -hmm. We need you to tie a red run, put a That's red right. string That's on right. your door. Yes. When you put this red string red on string. your door, we know to pass, to by, pass by you right. and not touch you. Right. So watch this now. Her hope becomes a rescue line. Yes. Because she's aiding and supporting kingdom projects. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen to what I'm telling you today. When you get involved in kingdom projects, when you get involved in kingdom purposes, when you support kingdom purposes, your hope will become a rescue line. Yes. Okay. All right. What do you mean? See, in, in this pandemic situation that we're in, and this, in this chaotic situation that we're in, if you step up to the plate and help somebody else, what you've done for somebody else now will become a rescue line in your life. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna reciprocate it. You're gonna reciprocate. Yeah. You 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 it, it will become a rescue yes. line yes. for you. Oh yeah. I'm helping somebody else, yes. it becomes a rescue line. Oh yes. All right. We we see people now in uh, uh churches have dropped down financially and right. churches are trying to maintain and sustain. And they can't maintain and sustain. Right. You know, build. You know, people got mortgages on buildings. They pay lease payments on buildings. Yes. You know, and, and now they can't come to church and worship. That's right. and, and, and if they are in their worship, they only got a couple of people. They got the musicians yes. and the preacher up there. Nobody else in the church. Right. And so, guess what's not happening? No finances are coming in. That's so true. Because a lot of times, when That's people so don't come to church, they don't support financially. They don't, they don't tithe. They don't tithe. They don't support. Yeah. They don't. They don't do any of that. And, and so, because of a pandemic, because of a crisis moment, right. so their mindset is, well, I got to keep what I got because of this situation. Yeah. But guess what doesn't stop? Right. The mortgage of a bill that's still right. has to be paid. To the be lease paid. of a bill still has to be yes, paid. Right. Hey, all of these things still have to go on and have to take place. Yes. So now churches are stuck. And, and a lot of churches are going to close down in this season. They're going to close down churches. because yes. there is no financial support coming into right. them. That, that's why this SB loan was so important yes. that churches were involved in it. Oh, yes. Because they were supposed to get. So now, th this payment, this paycheck protection plan, since they don't have the money coming in, staff it. can't get paid. Right. Mortgages can't get paid. Right. None of this stuff cannot can be taken care of because there's no resources there's coming no resources. in. So churches will close down. So watch now. If you continuously keep your financial support up, if you continuously yes. keep tithing, if you continuously oh, yes. keep so sowing in this season, yes. what you did will become a rescue line for you. Yes, and you're going to reap a harvest off, every off this. See, what you make happen for yes. somebody else, God will, will make, make happen, happen for you. For you. Yes. He'll make happen for you. Oh, yes. So watch now. My hope now will become a rescue line to yes. those who support God's kingdom purposes. That's right. That's it right. becomes a rescue line. Oh, It'll yes. pull me out of the situation. Oh, yes. That's why I make the point that I'm a sow and I'm a give. Yes. Every day. Every day. I sow and give every, every day. day. This is no joke for me. Every this day. ain't no plan around. That's I right. I sow and give every That's single right. day. Every and day. the reason that I do it is because I know that I have to work the principles in this season. That's and right. if I don't work the principles in this season, then I will not create opportunities. I'm not create windows. Favor won't show up for me and my family. So I have to Ooh. work the principles. May yes. I tell you? today that you must continue to keep working the principles. That's right. Don't let people tell you that you're not supposed to give. Ooh. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to Don't do that. Do the you devil have. is a liar. Do <laughs> not focus on what open. the devil is telling you. That's right. He will never tell you to do something that will defeat his kingdom. That's right. He understands the purpose of giving. Giving yes. will defeat his kingdom yes. every single time. That's Listen right. to this. The devil thought he had us by allowing church doors to be closed. But what he did was created an opportunity for preachers to preach the gospel oh, all over the world. Oh, yes. And, look at this, and do it for free. Yes, 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 yes. So right. many people are remember, watching because of that. Remember, remember we said, we, remember we was in TVN one day. We yes. went to TVN one day. We had taken the church to TVN. Right, right, right. I wasn't even a pastor during that time. Right. Bishop Eddie Jernigan was the pastor. Yes. So here I am. I'm sitting out and organized it. Got Brother Richard drove us over there That's in the right. bus. That's and, you right. That's right. We, we rolled over TVN and stopped. Yeah. It was great. We roll on TV in the style, and they, they said for, for every 50 people, they're going to get a church $1,000. Right, right. Uh, I got everybody set up. We're going, we rolling the TV in, and I'm sitting there. Amazing uh, and I, I, I don't even know who this guy I'm sitting next to. Right. Black guy, he just started talking to me. Yeah. He says to me, um, when you get on TV in, <laughs> <laughs> when you get on TV in. That's right, that's right. Here's what you need to do. This is how much it's going to cost you. He says it's going to cost you. He says it's going to cost you thirty three thousand dollars for for every twenty eight minutes that right. you're on TV in. Thirty three thousand dollars. Thirty three thousand. And he's giving me the rundown. Yes. And I'm sitting here like, 
I just don't know I want to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> He's just talking to me out of blue. He didn't ask me if I was a pastor. He didn't ask me nothing. That's he just right. said, when, he just when, you, talking. when you get on TV, yes. it's going to cost you $33,000 for every 28 minutes and 30, 30 seconds. Yes. Is what he said. That's, That's what, he what said. it costs. That's what he said. So now I'm looking at this thing and I said, okay, all right. Man, if I get on TV in, that's a major network. You're going to preach the gospel all over all the world. All over the world. And now yes. I start thinking, how am I going to come up with a program and Woo! all this type of stuff? Yes. And now we're in this crisis moment. You don't need $33,000. No, you don't. To preach the gospel. No, now. you don't. You can preach the gospel <laughs> around the world for an hour for free. For free. God has Look made how time it has so. Changed. God has made it so that we can touch the world yes. and not spend a dime. You can't right tell me that room. this is not God. <laughs> you can't tell me that God is not working in That's the midst right. of this. This is why me. you have to keep your hope up. Yes. You got to keep your hope up. Yes. Listen, I had tried being on the radio. Oh yes. I used to be on KTYM That's early right. in the year. That's I used right. to be on internet radio preaching the gospel. That's right. That's in, right. In, in like 2005, 2006. Yes. I'm preaching the gospel, but it never was able to pan out right. That's right. It never was able. I was never able to reach anybody, touch anybody. Right. But as soon as we start doing it from in the backyard, Look at God. then boom, 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 Look we start touching God. people. Because watch now, if we allow God to move in his timing. Yes. And we kept our hope in him. That's right. That's <laughs> Let right. me hurry up now. Ooh, watch now. Good. In your valley of trouble. God will provide a door of hope for you. That's right. <laughs> in your valley of hope, God himself will provide a door of hope for you. This yes. is so important. Go, go, go quickly to Hebrew, I mean, Hosea chapter number two. Hosea. Let's go quickly to Hosea chapter two, and we're going to look at verse number 15. Hosea chapter two, you got to get this now. God now, in your time of trouble, will provide a door of hope for you. Hosea chapter two, look at verse number 15. Hosea chapter two, verse 15. Watch God. God says now, and I will give her her vineyards from thence and the valley of Achor for a door of hope. And she shall sing there as in the days of her youth and as in the days when she came up out of the land of Egypt. Verse 16, and it shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ish <laughs> and shall call me no more Bala. So watch God now. You got, you got to get the background of this story. This is important now. The, 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 the Valley of Achor, when the Bible speaks of the Valley of Achor, this is the place where God allowed Achan be stoned to death. Right. All right. When they had gone in there and conquered a city, God tells them, burn everything in the city, kill everybody in the city. Yes. Do not take nothing out of the city. All of a sudden, I didn't defeat everybody in, 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 um, in Jericho, and now they're getting ready to go to this city and fight this city called Ai. They're going to they spot it out. We don't need the army, need the full army. Just send a few men over there and we can defeat them. They go over there and get their butt kicked That's right. by a few people. <laughs> Joshua is upset and Joshua says, how in the world could we get beat like this by a ragtag band of people who can't fight? Woo. We're a mighty army of God. How we get beat? Yes. And then God speaks to him and tells him there's sin in the camp. There's sin in the camp. And now all of a sudden God is saying, okay, make every tribe line up. That's right. And make them pass by me. Right. And all of a sudden now, they cast lots, and the lot fell on Achan and his family. Yes. And Achan comes and he says, what did you do? Tell us what you what did. did you do? What he said was give glory to God. Yes. See, first time the word give glory to God is used in the Bible, it doesn't mean to lift your hands or clap or to shout. It means to repent. That's right. So now That's all of right. a sudden now, he said to him, give glory to God yes. or repent. So now, what did you do, Achan? Achan what says, do? well, when we went in there to, to, to defeat everybody, I saw these little gold idols, and so I took them. I took me some clothes, too, and, and what I did was hit them in my house. Woo. So now, all of a sudden now, because he did that, it caused him to lose the battle. Yes. Now he got to be he got to be disciplined and destroyed in front of everybody. Not only was he killed, but his entire family. The whole family. whole family is the killed entire now family. for what he did. Yes. They called it the Valley of Achor. Down, it's, it's called the valley of it's called of the valley of troubles. Valley so now God comes along in Hosea chapter two, and He's talking now to His wife. Oh yeah, His wife has been cheating on Him. Wow. She has not respected him and not honored him. He's calling Israel his wife. He's calling the Hebrew people his wife. They have been they have been dishonorable to him. They cheated on him, mistreated him, didn't give him credit for the things that he had done for them. Right. When you study it out, the scripture starts to talk about 
that she start calling somebody else master and not him. Wow. He, he says, I provided all of this stuff for you and, and you forgot me? Wow. How, how are you going to give this glory to somebody else? And God is angry with them now. Oh, yes. And God is angry with her. So guess what he does? He divorces her. Right. He divorces the country. Yes. And then God says, the reason that I divorced you is because now I can get your attention now. Now, and so, so here's, here's what he does. As you start reading Hosea chapter 2, God starts writing poetry to Israel. Oh, yes. He's swooning Israel. Yes. He's doing it to get her back and to show her how good he really oh, is. Oh, yes. And when, when, she, when she gets out with her other lovers, God says to her, you, you thought you had it better with them. Right. But until right. you got with them fully, now right. you realize you had it better with me. Had it better so, with so me. when you try, you study the scripture out, literally God says he took Israel by the hand and took yes. long walks with her right. in the garden where there was nobody else but the two of them. Yes. And then, then now God said, because I got your attention, here's what I'm going to do. He says, I'm going to give you your vineyards back. Right. And then he says, and the valley of Achor will become a door of hope for you. Ooh. In troubled times, God says, hope will become your door. Hope will he said, he your said door. I will give you a That's door good. of hope. In other words, Ooh. I will give That's you a good. way out of your situation. Yes. Listen to this. She's cheating on him. Wow. She's mm -hmm. cheating on him. She's involved with other people. And God comes along and says, I still love you. Yes. I still love you. I'm going to give you a way out of this situation. That's Can good. you imagine the Bible talks about the prophet Haggai? I mean, Haggai. The Bible, uh, uh, Hosea. I'm talking about the prophet Hosea. Prophet Hosea now. God tells him to marry a prostitute. Woo. Hosea said, come on, God. Come on now. Come on now. You're going to make me marry a prostitute? Come on, God. Come on. You're going to make me marry a prostitute? And he marries her. Right. And every time he marries her, she goes and get a baby with somebody else. Woo. And then she goes and sells herself back into prostitution. And Haggai go, I mean, Hosea goes and he buys Gomer back. Brings her back. And every time he brings her back, she brings sticks back. with him for a minute. And yeah. she goes back and out goes again. Back. And right. she goes back into prostitution again. She gets another baby. And come back. And it's not his. And he's, now all of a sudden she's got several babies. And she's wow. away from everything. And God speaks to Hosea and says, go get your wife off the streets. Go get, mm -hmm. off, go get her from prostitution. Wow. And Jose is putting up a fight. I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. That's going to make me look bad. Right, right. But God said, go get her. And go the reason that I want you to go get her, go get her is because I'm displaying my love to Israel. Right. So can you imagine now? Mm -mm -mm. She done went and got three, four kids on you. And now you got to go get her out of prostitution. And you got to take care of her. And you got to take care of her. Right. You got to take care of the and kids. And the kids. Can you imagine <laughs> the embarrassment that he had? Oh, yes. Oh, can, yes. Can, can you imagine here you are as a woman? And every time you turn around, your husband is having multiple kids and ain't none of them yours. Wow. And then all of a sudden, here he comes with all of his kids, bringing them to the house and telling you that you got to take care of him. Right. Right. And then all of a sudden, God said, I want you to take care of take him. Care take of care of him and take care of and her. The kids. the kids. Become a wife to him yes. and be a mother to the children. To Can you kids. imagine that? And God says, the reason that I'm doing it is because I'm telling Goma. I'm telling Israel that I'm married to you. That's right. And this is how much I love you. Oh, yes. So listen to this. In your time of trouble, yes. God will provide a door of hope for a you. He'll hope. give you a door of hope. Ooh. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us in, in 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, you start looking at verse number three, 13. The Bible says, there have no temptation taken you but such as common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So yes. watch now. God said, no matter what you're going through today, no matter what trouble you're dealing with, no matter what pandemic you're dealing with today, here's what God said. I will always deliver you. I'll always bring you out of this situation. I will always give you a door of hope. I will always give you an opportunity to come out of your situation. And your door of hope is Jesus Christ. That's right. When you accept Jesus Christ, you accepted him as the door. You accepted him as the gateway. Yes. He's the doorway that leads to God. He's the gateway that leads to your peace. He's the gateway and the doorway that leads to your prosperity. He's the gateway, That's the right. doorway that leads you out of a sinful life now. Watch now. He's the doorway and the gateway that leads you out of this pandemic situation. Oh, yes. He'd be the one. He's so the if one. you He's haven't connected with him, That's you right. can't come out. That's if right. you haven't bonded with him, you can't come out. Say if it. you haven't gotten with him, you cannot come out. That's right. He he is the door. There he is, is no the door. other door. No other door but him. He's the door. He's the door. Look, when you look at when you look at the Judge chapter 10, 
The Bible talks about John 10. We know the story of John 10. And yes. 10 the thief coming not but for the steal, kill, and destroy. But right. Jesus said, but I came that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. More abundantly. But you got to look at it now. Jesus says it like this in John 10. I am the door. I am the door. He, he, he talks about, That's he right. says, I am the door. Yes. And he makes a point. He says, if anybody try to come in any other way, they're a thief and a rock. Right. So he says, I am the doorway for the sheep. Yes. I'm so the so what does he say? He says, I am the one that leads you to green pasture. Yes. I am the one that covers you. I am the one that protects you. Oh, yes. I'm the one that keeps you. Listen to this. I am the one who keeps you in this coronavirus I situation. I am your provider. I am your provider. You got to get to Jesus. <laughs> I am your source. Your I am your He is sustainer. the door. Yes. He's the door. <laughs> Jesus is your door oh, of yes. hope. That's if you right. don't understand that he Ooh, is your door yes, of hope, he is. you will miss everything that God has Ooh. for you. He be the door. That's, That's why right. you don't ever want to separate from him. That's why you don't ever want to let sin separate you from Amen. God. It doesn't matter what you've done before. It doesn't matter what the sin you committed. doesn't right. matter what you've been through in life. He is your doorway your door. that leads you out of your yes. situation. Yes, yes, Listen, yes. We, we, we make the statement. We say, God will not put more on you than you can bear. See, when you read the scripture, the scripture didn't say that. He did not say that. He didn't say that he wouldn't put more of you than you would have. It didn't say that. So let's look at let's look at it again. Let's look at First we'll Corinthians chapter 10, we'll verse 13 out. again. Okay. It says, There have no temptation taking you but such as common to man. Right. So watch now. He says, Everybody goes through something. Oh, yes. Everybody. Everybody is tempted. And the temptation that you are dealing with is not something. That nobody else has not dealt with. Right. We've all experienced it. It's common to man. That's right. So watch what he said. He says, but God is faithful. Yes. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above your able. That's right. But will, with the temptation, mm -hmm. also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So notice right. he doesn't say that. God, notice God doesn't <laughs> say he puts more on you than you can bear. <laughs> He doesn't say, say that. that but here's what he says. He says, I am going to bring you out of this situation. He said that you may be able to bear. In other words, I'm going to bring you out of this oh, stuff. Yes. Oh, I'm yes. the one who's going to bring you out of this. So, right. so, so sometimes we don't read scripture. We go by what we heard somebody they take else. take it out of content. So when things are taken out of context, uh -huh. so when you go through something, then you say, well, God, he won't put more on me than I can bear. This scripture don't tell us they that. They took it out of context. Scripture says temptation did temptation, this to you. that's right. Temptation that is common to man. Right. Every man is tempted. Every man goes through temptation. Yes. Let me say it again. Every man, every woman every goes man, through temptation. You are not exempt from temptation. You're not. You're not exempt You're from not. temptation. You are, listen, if you tempted like me with butter pecan ice cream, I sometimes had to walk past had to walk past the ice cream ice cream aisle quick. Boy. Because, see, I, I love haagen butter pecan ice cream. Love it. Love, love it. it. Love, love it. it. Love butter pecan ice love cream. It. He loves it. Man, look, sometimes I go down the aisle, and, and I ain't even coming up for butter pecan ice cream. But somehow right. I end up on the aisle and standing yes. right there in front of it. Right. And I be ready to get it. I be oh, right yeah. there. I be ready to get they it. They be talking to him. I be ready, like, I be ready to get me. it. Come and eat and me. It just, it's just, <laughs> and, and Lord, don't let. Normally it's $4.99. Oh. Sometimes it's $5.24. And he's still going to buy it. But why not? But when it really drops, down to two dollars and ninety nine. Oh, oh Jesus! I'd be like, oh Lord, he gave a I got, of man. <laughs> and so I have to get into this fight mode. You understand? So get into this fight mode. You don't need that. Go on, man. You didn't come in here for that. So, so look, I, I'm tempted. I gotta have that. You understand? I gotta have that. I want that. I want that bad. And so I have to fight that temptation. Oh, that but but, so then, true. but then sometimes I have to fight the temptation that gets up out of the bed and runs in the bed. <laughs> Put it out, put it out. You know, some of the little outfits, I'll be like, oh, Lord. I got to go to church, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, help me. Mr. Keo, get your pastor, Mr. Keo. Like, oh, Lord. Wait a minute. I, I can just, you know, I, we don't, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. <laughs> Now, so God oh says, now, <laughs> He said, There have no temptation taking you but such as common to man. Yes. But God is faithful God is who faithful. will not suffer you to be tempted above right. that you're able, but will, with the temptation, yes. make a way of escape. Way now, of I escape. like how Bishop Hill, how Bishop Hill talks about it. Oh, Apostle yes. Ivy Hill, he talks right. about it. He talks about now, for every situation you're in, there's also a way of escape that God would not allow the trouble to exist. Right. If he didn't allow a way of escape to exist too. Yes. So watch now. Where there is a door of trouble, there's always a door of hope. That's right. Okay. 
Where there is temptation, there is always a way out. Okay. All right. Anybody on here, you ain't got, you ain't got to say me. You ain't got to say me. But, but if, if anybody on here, you've been through this situation where you, <laughs> you, you said black walnut. Yeah, black walnut is a, black, black walnut is a it'll be no greenwood oh, thing. I don't know who wrote that. Jimmy said black walnut. Oh, see, that's a it'll be no greenwood thing. Black walnut is for black people. Oh my <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> See, you made me lose my train of thought. I know, I'm See, sorry. Plan. <laughs> for that, she got to pay for it. Oh. <laughs> but they, 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 so you just, you just messed it up. So watch now. Oh. Mr. Pete talks about yes. that God will not allow the issue to exist without giving you a way up a to way escape. Of escape. Yes. They exist at the same time. Right. So, so watch now. If you've ever been tempted to 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 to, to go. Sleep with him. Go sleep with her. You know you're not supposed to. Okay. God always gives you a way out. Oh, yes. He always does. He always gives you a way out. All right? If, 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 if you bring some company over to your house and and, and and you know that's not your husband, you're supposed to be saved, sanctified, right. filled right. with that, with the Holy Ghost, and that with fire, and Elo Shata, and all of that, and but but your flesh is just kicking in, and, and all of a sudden you, you just want him to come over? See, God always provides you a way of escape, and oh, sometimes yes. you don't know it. You don't know it's a way of escape. Right, right. Okay. If you got kids, especially if you got little kids, they start acting a fool when he come over. <laughs> and you like, go sit down, go to your room, go to bed. Now, normally they sleep by that time. Right. But they're not sleeping now. They make up a lot of they noise. They make up a lot of noise in the room. You got to keep running there. What y'all doing? Stop making all this noise. I'm going to whoop you. And you know, all this type of stuff. And they keep on making noise. Then right. all of a sudden, here they come, knocking on your door. I'm hungry. <laughs> They're not really hungry. They want to see what's going yeah, on. I'm, I'm on some water. Uh -huh. They just knock on the door constantly. Right, right. Constantly. And they just they won't go to bed, jumping all over the place. And all of a sudden now, in, in some cases, the man get irritated and leave. But sometimes <laughs> he try to wait it out. Or it's an opportunity for the kids to make some money. Right. Because he going to pay them. Y'all go on, bring on some snack. Run <laughs> some pay them. You understand? <laughs> but they would go in there and be quiet. But, but yet, still, they still don't get quiet. Right. And then here you make are. Yeah, they're making a moan up. And here you are. The devil sure is busy. <laughs> Have you ever stopped to think that maybe it's not the devil? Right. That it is God it calling, is God your, calling your children to yes. act the fool so yes. you can make him go home? Yes. Have you ever stopped to think that God did it? Why all of a sudden they acting crazy now? They weren't acting crazy before. Right. They exactly. went to bed at that time. They weren't exactly. asking for water. They weren't asking for food. <laughs> they weren't asking for none of that. Right. But as soon as he come over, they won't go to bed. Now it's like 1 o'clock in the morning and they won't go to bed. Still making up a lot of noise. That's because God <laughs> is calling them to act up. Right. It's your way of escaping. You don't know it. You ain't seen it. You ain't paid no attention to it. Right. This dude shouldn't be at your house anyway. That's right. So the kids, God is calling, causing them to act a fool. Yes. It's your way of escape. Way of escape. And you didn't know it. That's you right. didn't pay attention That's to right, it. That's right, Jackie. This is what I'm telling you. You got to get this. You got to be able to spot God. Listen, in your valley of trouble, <laughs> God will always give you a door of hope. But he will always give you a door of escape. Yes. Trouble, escape. Right. Trouble, escape. Right. Trouble, escape. Right. Getting into trouble, way out of escape. trouble. It all exists. And they are right there. Right. And, and then, and then, when you really try to sneak them in the house, the kids come along the next day and tell you what you did wrong. Oh yeah, they already know. They come in, Mama, I heard some noise. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I heard some noise. Mama, what was that? What was that noise? <laughs> Now you're embarrassed because you tried to sneak him in there. Thought right. you were sneaking they him in there. Know. You can't sneak him in they the house. Listen know. to this. You cannot sneak him in the house and think that don't nobody know it. Right. You can't fool him. You cannot you fool him. You can't do it. Right. And so, so here I am. I'm trying to get you to understand that God gives you a way out. That's right. Hope is your way out. That's your it's your hope. way out. That's and right. Jesus is your hope. Yes. He's your hope today. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he <laughs> oh, is. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm having too much fun today. I'm having too much fun today. <laughs> Listen, y'all pray for me. Trish has started cooking. And I'm the guinea pig. So y'all pray. She's doing a good job, you guys. She's doing pray. a really good job. Yeah, she made yeah. them some eggs the other day. It was and so some pretty. some bacon and stuff. Yes. And some hash browns. And, um, She's have, been cooking. I have to pray in tongues. I'm so happy. I have to pray in tongues for a couple minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. She's so, been doing a good job. She's been doing a great job. Yes. Sister Brenda, we're teaching her how to cook. <laughs>
<laughs> and listen, oh let me get ready to pray for y'all. Listen, yes. that's our time right there. We don't want to keep you all day. That's right. But listen, I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for every person today who, yes. who's in trouble right now. Someone has lost hope. Yeah, you have lost hope. I want to pray for you yes, today. Yes. Uh, I want to lift up Miss Teresa Wells today. Yes, um, yes, she's she a faithful uh, listener to In the Backyard. Yes. I think we ought to call her an honorary member of our church oh, or something like awesome. that. She, she's amazing. That would be awesome. Her daughter went home to be with the Lord yes, she did. Uh, the she other morning the at, at 3 a.m. Yes. Uh, went home to be with the Lord. Yes, she did. And um, we want to keep her lifted up in prayer. Yes, we've been and, praying for um, you too. Man. Um, yes, for your peace and calm. I don't know what it's like to lose... My child. I, amen. Uh, but amen. her daughter went home to be with the Lord yes, the other she morning. Did. Yes, and she did. Uh, so I want us to keep the family in prayer. Yes. I want us to keep Miss Teresa in prayer. That's right. Keep her um, in prayer, everyone. We definitely want to do that. Yes, we keep do. Keep her in prayer and let yes. her know uh, how much we love her. We love you. I know some of you probably don't know her personally. Right. But what you can do uh, is go on social media and yes. drop her a line. Not, not, not anything pity. Right. But just let her know you're praying for her. Yes. And that you care for. That's it right. Be great. That's uh, right. I'm quite sure she would appreciate it. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, yes. Um, and we're praying for her every day. Yes, but I want to pray for those of you today who have lost hope. Yes. If you're on here this morning and you've lost hope, um, I want you to let us know you lost hope. And we want to pray for you to get yes, your hope do. back today. Yes. If you're on here today, you're not saved and you want to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Yes. We want to accept you in to the body of Christ. We want to lead you to salvation yes. today. If you don't have a church today, don't have a church home and you want to make Kingdom Life Faith Center your church home, hey, you can do that. Doesn't matter what state you live in. Doesn't matter what country you live in. Doesn't right. matter at all. Doesn't matter uh, if you're in L.A. or not. Right. You can join our church through Cyber Prayer. You That's can join right. through Cyber Church. You can join Cyber Church just by yes. going to our church's website, KingdomLifeFaithCenter.org. And click on the About Us button. When you click on the About Us button, the drop-down screen will show at the bottom. Contact us. Hey, there's a list of emails on there that you can email and say, hey, I want to become a member yes. and somebody will get back in contact with you. Hey, if you don't have a church home, you can do that. If you're not saved today, what you can do is go on our church website and you'll see the link that says Got Jesus yes. on the bar. Click on I Got Jesus, send us prayers there, read it. Hey, give your life to Christ. You can do that right there. Listen, get ready to get your seed in the ground today. We got about four minutes left, but get your seed in the ground today. Go to our website at kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. Click on the online giving button there and get your seed in the ground today. Hey, Kingdom Life Faith Center members, thank y'all so much for your time and your offering. Thank y'all so thank much you. for those who've been sending your thank offering you in through, yes. through uh, social media, those yes. who've been sending They're your offering in through the mail, mail in the box. We appreciate you. Yes. Listen, if you're going to mail your offering in, make sure you don't write Pastor Curtis or Pastor Perryman. You got to write uh, Curtis Perryman or you have to write Kingdom Life Faith Center on the offering. On the right. Don't write Pastor Perryman or Pastor. Write, uh, you can write Pastor Curtis Perryman or Curtis Perryman or Kingdom Life Faith Center dot org. Because if you don't do that, they will send it back to you uh, because it has to be written a certain way. Right. So please, y'all do that. Get your seed in the ground today. You can go to our website at Kingdom Life Faith Center dot org. Click on your online giving button there and get your seed in the ground. Hey, if you want to sow directly to us, you can do it through the cash app. The cash app is the dollar sign Pastor Perryman. So get your seed in the ground today. Shout out again to our Instagram audience today. Shout out to our Periscope Live audience. Shout yes, out to hello, uh, our Facebook Live audience. We, we appreciate you. you. We appreciate so listen, you. I'm getting ready to pray for you now. Yes. And when we pray, we're going to get ready to um, release you and let you go. Some of y'all got to go to another service. So hey, we got to let you go to get ready to do that. Right. So let me pray for you, all right? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every person who's watching me today. Yes, God. I ask in Jesus' name, God, that those who have lost hope today, yes. that their hope will be renewed and restored today. And God, I thank you that even as I'm praying now in Jesus' in name, Jesus God, name. you are introducing them to you all over again, yes, that you are the doorway to hope. And God, I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Jesus. Now, Father, we lift up Miss Teresa Wells. We pray yes. for strength and for peace and comfort for her yes, right Lord. now in the name of in Jesus. Name of we Jesus. pray for your comfort to be over her entire family today. God, I thank you right now that you're strengthening her even as we even as we pray. God, I thank you now. For those who are not saved today, God, I ask in Jesus' name that you will save them. Yes. Fill them with your precious spirit. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. amen and amen. amen. All right, again, if you didn't get your seed in the ground, go to our website and get your seed in the ground. Yes. Shout out to Miss Kelly Johnson and Hello. her family today. Hello, Good Kelly. to see you. Shout out to Bam and the twins. Hi, today. Hi, twins. Hey, Alexis and Victoria, we love y'all. 
We so good to you. see y'all. But listen, get your seed in the ground today. Yes. Get, go to our website, kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. Click on the online giving button there and get your seed in the ground. Or All right? App. I'll cash app it. Dollar sign, Pastor Perryman. All, All right. right? Hey, we love y'all. Love Time you. is winding down. We love y'all. We will see y'all again tomorrow morning on In the Backyard with Pastor Perryman That's at 8.15 right. a.m. That's right. Love y'all. Now go, Brenda Hall, and make... Uh, Brother Billy, Some breakfast. breakfast in the best coffee in the world. Love y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Be blessed in Jesus' name.